after I knew about this tip. My house smells like rich people's house. You really got to try it today at home. That's right, everyone. After this tip, the smell of your house will never be the same. And for that, we're going to use some oranges first. Go ahead and make two cuts on the orange. The first one like this it, and the second one like this, as if we're going to cut it into quarters. But don't cut it all the way through. Let's leave it like that after this. Now we need a container that fits the orange, like so. And here I have three containers, because I'm going to teach you three variations of this tip. All right, so next we're going to need coarse salt. Go ahead and add some on top of the oranges. I don't have an exact amount for salt, but there's no need to measure it. I think that would do. All right, so let's go ahead and add to all three containers. And now we're going to add white vinegar or alcohol vinegar, which is the same. Do not use another type of vinegar for this recipe, folks. And here I'm going to use vinegar only in tulevin. But for the third one, but for the third one, we're not adding it. You guys will know why in a moment. So let's go ahead and add three tablespoons of white vinegar. And this one, same thing. You, it's, and now the first one is ready, guys, because the vinegar will help to exhale the aroma even more, which in this case is the smell of orange. So if you like a citrus smell like orange, you can use it like that at home. There's one more with vinegar here. But this one, let's make it even better. And for that, we're going to add some cloves, because in addition to the smell of orange, this one will also help to scare away insects, because mosquitoes, flies and insects in general do not like the smell of cloves. So let's go ahead and add some here. They're also going to leave a very pleasant smell. Many people like me love the smell of cloves. In the last one, let's add fabric softener. And of course, feel free to choose your favourite brand. But, if possible, pick a concentrated one for this, as the smell will be much better. So let's go ahead and add one capful of fabric softener. And there you have it, folks. They're all ready. And now it's quite simple. Just spread the three containers around the house. For example, the first one I like to leave in the bathroom. As for this one, because of the fabric softener, I prefer to leave it in the living room or in my bedroom. And this one, because of the clothes, I like to leave it near a window because, like I said, it's going to help to keep bugs and insects at bay. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip. It's a very good and simple one that can leave your whole house smelling pretty good and without spending basically anything extra because you probably already have all these ingredients at home. So that's it.